Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio with another one. And today we're looking at, we're asking the question, we're posing the question, and we're answering the question what is a franchise champ? Champion. Okay, without much further ado, let's get into it. The WBC announced on Wednesday that Alvarez, Canelo Alvarez, has been reclassified as the organization's organization's so-called franchise champion, something the organization recently created. That's why I couldn't find nothing on it. It's a recent creation and that the interim title holder, Jamel Jamal Charlo, has been elevated to its full, to being its full world title holder. When Alvarez appointed Daniel Jacobs May the 4th in the highly anticipated title unification bout, he claimed a third major 160 pound world title belt. But now he's down to two. Now he's down to two with the WBC's latest move which adds another layer of confusion to boxing's already confusing alphabet soup of belts. Yeah, very, very confusing. In announcing the move, the WBC said it created the franchise champion tag during its recent mid-year meetings in Honolulu. Mm, nice place this time of year where the WBC Board of Governors approved it in a vote the franchise champion is a special designation and status which the WBC may now bestow to a current WBC world champion I want you to listen to this carefully because it uh, we come back to it later on the franchise champion is a special designation which and status which the WBC may bestow to a current WBC world champion who is also an elite boxer and who has achieved and maintains the highest of statures in the sport the WBC said hmm so the question is who's next who's next they're gonna roll it out They've clearly stated that it's a designation which they may bestow to a current champion. That means the possibility of them rolling it out to other champions is high. We look at that shortly, so stick around. The WBC organization added, We may, upon a two-thirds vote, two-thirds majority vote of the Board of Governors, designate in each weight category one WBC franchise champion a franchise champion shall enjoy special status with respect to his or hers her mandatory obligation obligations hmm so special status in regard let's finish with the article now that was by Dan, by Dan Raphael thank you Dan Raphael finish with the article now so the franchise champion may receive let's get the wording right the franchise champion may receive special status with regards or in regards to mandatory obligations now we know what that means we're not silly we're not dumb we're not we, 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 we weren't born yesterday we know what that means that means that ultimately means that mandatories may be a thing of the past for a so-called mm, franchise champion mm -hmm. forget, about, forget about your mandatories forget about your mandatories you are the franchise champion now you don't have to worry about those kind of things those kind of 
annoying things, the best having to fight the best anymore. That is now a thing of the past. You are the franchise champion. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So who? Who? Oops, let's get rid of that. It's too small. Oh, as is that. Okay, so who? May it be. Who may be the next franchise champion? In this part of the video, we look at who is likely to be the next when they roll out the next franchise champion, who is it likely to be? Let's take a look at their champions. Let's take a look at their champions, their current champions, because it has to be a champion. You have to be a champion to receive that special franchise status. So, let's take a look. Let's adjust the mic, the angle. Let's take a look. The heavyweight. Who's the heavyweight champion? None other than, none other than Deontay Wilder, cruiserweights, vacant, light heavyweight, go disc, go void disc, yeah, um, what's that light heavyweight, no, we don't know him too well, he's not a household name, he's not a regular name, Durrell, super middleweight, no, he hasn't really made too much of an impact um, outside of the boxing realm, his, his name has not crossed over, Canelo, yeah, he's a crossover star. Harrison, he's just what beat Charlo. Dropped out of the uh, rematch because of uh, an injury. Was it the ankle? Was it the ankle? So no, it's not him. Porter, mm, no, he is not a crossover star. No, Ramirez, no, not a crossover star. Lightweight rankings vacant. Burchelt, no, no, for WBO Superweight, no, what, what does that say, WBC Super Featherweight, no, he's not crossover, We're scrolling down, Gary Russell Jr. in the Featherweight rankings, no, he's not crossover star, fights once a year, no, Vargas, Super Bantam, no, he's not crossover, Ubali, no, Bantamweight, no, Estrada, super flyweight, no, he's not a crossover star. WBC flyweight rankings, world flyweight champion, Edwards from the UK, no, he's not a crossover star, no. So, who is most likely, who fits the role of being the next franchise champion? None other than, none other than Deontay Wilder. WBC World Heavyweight Champion. Four years, four years as a WBC World Heavyweight Champion. Should fight a mandatory every year. He's only fought two mandatories in four years as a champ. Hmm. Seems like he's already getting that uh, franchise championship treatment. He's already getting the franchise champion treatment. Hmm. Here, ladies and gentlemen, this could very well be the next WBC franchise champion, Deontay Wilder. You will see him. The most likely pick for world franchise WBC franchise championship status. Hmm. What implications would that have for the mandatories? He's number one contenders. He's already highly reluctant to fight mandatories two mandatories in four years. This could be an, an uh-oh moment, uh-oh, for the heavyweight division. He could be out of the mix. Continue to pick and choose. Uh-oh, who's that? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Another pick and chooser, Mayweather. Who's that behind him? Over his left shoulder. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
to uh oh moment. Back to Wilder. What implications would this have on the heavyweight division if Deontay Wilder, if the franchise championship gets rolled out to Deontay Wilder? It could be a big uh oh moment. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I dread to think. Share your thoughts, your views, your comments, your shares, your likes, and don't forget to hit that bell icon. Smash it. Smash it. This is Raphael Dawkins. What is a franchise champ is the title of the piece. It's Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio. Share your thoughts, views, and I'm out. <laughs>